What is up guys, Mike Spam here and welcome to my YouTube channel and most of all welcome to the playthrough of Balear of the Gothic 2. This is going to be the first episode where we're gonna explore the island a bit, talk with a few people and uh mm, not quite sure how far I will be able to go but uh at least towards Leicester slash the bandits so uh, without further ado guys let's begin I will of course skip the intro you know just so that it will save a bit of time since it can have a black screen there you are again I never thought the two of us would meet again I feel like I spent three weeks lying under a load of rocks well so you did only the magic within your armor kept you alive I had feared I might not be able to rescue you from the debris of the temple, but enough of that. You're here now. There's a new threat that we have to deal with. Now, unlike the path of Enos, this one is again with heights of power due to the capabilities requirement to get max built. In my play for of Enos, I was not really capable in Gothic 2 to become max stats, even though I killed 90% of the critters at least 95% of the critters in the Valley of Mines, about 80% in the critters of the desert of Jarkandar, etc, you know. But still wasn't enough to get my crossbow from 60% to 100. So I had to had activate Heights of Power because it also makes the game a bit more fun, a bit challenging in the beginning, but late game easy peasy. You must become their ally. That's the only way to stop Beliar. At least we have enough time now. I did it. The Sleeper... ...has been banned. You vanquished him so much is true. But it's not within our power to stop the war that ensues now. With his final furious scream, the Sleeper has set into movement the armies of darkness. It was an order to all evil creatures, a word of power that they were all bound to obey. His last order was, Come! And they came, all of them, even the dragons. Dragons? They are creatures of an ancient power. I can sense their presence, even here. And they have gathered an entire army of lowly servant creatures around them. Where's this army now? The army is camped not far from here, in the Valley of Mines near Corinus, and they're getting ready to attack. We do not have much time left. Now with this particular playthrough, I am gonna join the remaining path, which is the novice slash fire magician, who is in my opinion not the servant of Enos, but I will explain that once we come to the point where I will actually enter the novice and well, become a novice of the monastery of Enos, but in my opinion it is the path of Balear, but I will explain that once we get there, which is still quite a long way from now. What can we do? This time we cannot handle it by ourselves. Only the power of Innos will help us against these dragons. A group of paladins is stationed in the city of Corinus, not far from here. They possess a powerful artifact which could help us to defeat the dragons. They call it the Eye of Innos. You need to get hold of this artifact. Tell the paladins about the threat. You must convince their leader to support us. And once you have talked to him, you need to find the artifact of Beliar. It is the counterpiece to the Eye of Enos. It must not fall into the hands of evil. What exactly is the Eye of Enos? It's an amulet. Legend has it that Enos himself was poured part of his power into this amulet. It will restore some of your lost strength and help us defeat the dragons. It also has some other hidden powers. I shall tell you more about that once the amulet is yours. Why would the Paladins give me the Eye of Innos? Because you are the one who is destined to wear it. How can you claim to know that? There are a number of reasons. The most important being, you have defeated the Sleeper. If you weren't a favorite of the gods, you'd be dead by now. Let's assume you're right and I'm destined to bear the Eye of Innos. How would the Paladins know that's true? The Eye itself chooses the one who may wear it. Once you get hold of it and put it on, the Paladins cannot doubt your words any longer. 
How can I get to the city? Just follow the path from here through the mountains. The city is large. You cannot miss it, but watch out. The path to town is not without dangers, and you aren't nearly as strong as you once were. I need weapons. I can only give you whatever little I have here. Look around in my tower. Anything that looks useful to you, you can have. Good. I'll be on my way as fast as I can. Good. And one more thing. Don't tell anyone that you've talked to me. Above all, don't tell any magician. Since I have gone into exile, the circle of fire has taken me for dead. And that's a good thing. Hey! Can you tell me anything about this stone tablet? First I suspected it might be a magical artifact, but I finally concluded that it is not of any great significance. I have not been able to decode the meaning of this tablet entirely, but it seems to concern the history of a very old culture. If you want the tablet, it's yours. I have no use for it. Where exactly are we? As I already said, near the city of Corinus, I have rebuilt my tower here. But it's only been a few days since we last saw each other in the Valley of Mines. The servants I summoned to build my tower have done a thorough job. Well, you can say that again. Where can I find better equipment? The closest place where you can get better weapons and armor is the city of Corinus. But down in the valley you can find some healing herbs that will help you if you get injured in a fight. See the lake right in front of my tower. A secret passage leads to the valley from there. Why is the Circle of Fire not supposed to know about you? I used to be a high member of the Circle. Even then I suspected that demon magic might be the key to the magic barrier. But I could never have convinced the other members of the Circle to follow this path. So I left the Circle in order to study the Black Arts. That is a crime for which the Fire Magicians, the Ordained of Enos, the Ever Good and Virtuous, will accept no excuse. They are certain that I'm still alive, but they have no idea where to find me, and that's a good thing too. All right, so let me get myself some stuff around here, a weapon, which is a heavy branch, and uh, a couple of items, a couple of potions. sleep until midnight which is the only thing that I do as a, a servant of Balear Risky sacrifice, 10 HP, but um, you know, it is handy to have some gold. And since this guy is gonna be the servant of Balear, it is only perfect.
Now this character is gonna be very, very strong, not only in fighting capabilities, but also in his dark magical arts. Alright, so let's go towards Laris, or uh, Lester, I mean. Alright, so let's go into the other cavern. There will be about a couple of gobbles, about three, four, a couple of wolves, and two field raiders, young ones. At some point it was unavoidable, unavoidable, goddammit. Oh. Oh, that did the wrong one. Nothing to be had there. Nothing to plunder. Without heights of power, if you really want to see the difference with your own eyes, pick alongside the playthrough of Enos and go to exactly this moment, which is about episode one. And uh, shoot, wait, shoot a fire arrow upon those buggers, it will kill them normally. I will shoot a fireball upon them, which is three times the damage, and they will live. Still alive. Three times more damage, yet still alive because of heights of power, their HP has increased as well as their damage. 
So if you play with heights of power, be very careful. Since I'm gonna join the uh, fire magicians, I'm gonna uh, join the alchemist in Corinthus as an apprentice, which is uh, Constantino the alchemist. I will not sell him the dark mushrooms, but I will sell him the digger meats, which are those. It's not really that profiting, and um, but. In that way, all three paths have each individually a different apprenticeship. As a mage, an alchemist, as a uh, paladin smith, as a mercenary hunter. So all three have been picked. Same with the captains, once we go to the horse of Erdereth, which is quite a long way from now. But um, as a servant of Enos, aka the paladin, I took Jack. As a mercenary, I took Torlev, and as this guy, I will take Jurgen, or whatever his name was. The one at the monastery. So that again, all four, three paths have their own individual options. When the, whenever the need arises, and the, you know, opportunities arises. and dodgy. I must say that one. Uh, there's supposed to be a healing root here somewhere. I never meant. should be either one more or two. This one and one is eating a rat. God damn it. There we go. Is that you? Really? Man, am I glad to see you. Now, since I am a servant of Balear, I will pretend that I've lost my memory due to the uh, 
sleep, I think, you know. Am I supposed to know you? Hello? Anyone home? I risked my neck so you could get that weird stone. You owe me something. This time you should remember that. You still remember Diego, Milton, and Gorn? Diego, Milton, and who? Don't tell me you can't remember any of that. The Focus Stones, the Troll, the Water Mage's enormous pile of ore. I'm not so sure. That'll come back. It took me a while to get my head straight, too. What happened? After the Sleeper was defeated, the entire Brotherhood lost their minds. Without their master, they were all just empty husks. And you? What about you? It was the same for me. I had nightmares and even hallucinations. But once my head was more or less clear again, I ran for it. Once, I thought I saw a huge black shadow pounce on a group of fugitives and burn them all up in a giant cloud of fire. At that moment, I really thought a dragon had come to kill me. Did you see anything else? No. I took to my heels and ran. I'm on my way to Corinus. What do you know about the town? Corinus? Well, it's a seaport. Nothing special. Why do you ask? I must go and see the paladins who are said to be in town. <laughs> really? Ah, they won't even let you into the town. And certainly not to where the paladins are. Do you have any suggestions how I could get into town? I certainly do. I worked for an old alchemist named Constantino some time ago. He has great influence in the city, and he's instructed the guards at the gate to let anyone through who can sell him rare herbs. So it's quite easy, really. You collect a large bunch of the plants that grow here all over the place, and then you pretend you're working for Constantino, and in you go. But don't collect a mix of this and that. The guards aren't all that bright, and they know nothing about alchemy. The bundle needs to look good to them if you want to get through. I think that ten specimens of the same kind of plant should do the trick. Thanks for the hint. How long have you been hiding out in this valley? I don't know exactly. A week, maybe? But there's one more thing. When I came here in the evening, I took a look up on the mountain, and there were only a few trees there. And when I looked the next morning, that tower was there. I could have sworn it wasn't there before. Since then, I haven't left the valley. You mean Zardus's tower? I knew he was powerful, but creating a tower just like that. Zardus the necromancer? He lives in that tower? I don't know if I like that. Don't worry. He's the one who rescued me from the Sleeper's Temple. He's on our side. You need to tell Zardas about the Shadow. It could be important. You don't think it was my imagination? You mean there really was a... Dragon, yes. You're getting into the thick of it again, am I right? I shouldn't say in the thick of it. Not yet. Well, good. If it's so important, then I'll go see him. But not now. For the moment, I'm going to rest. I'm still exhausted after the escape from the penal colony. I think you've got big plans. I'll see you later at Zardis's. Sure thing, man. Alright, so let's uh, finish the exploring around here. Go back to Zardis's tower, sleep till next morning.
reason why this guy is mainly praying at the shrine of Baleon is so that he can afford um, getting to you know the uh, monastery however he will first have to purchase some gear do some training and whatnot you know and eventually find a way to get access to the monastery of the magicians of fire for free but um, he's also praying to Baleon because he serves Baleon and uh, as soon as he gets the claw he's gonna abuse its power to defeat all his enemies to ashes So let's quickly go to Zars. Do one more prayer at the Shrine of Balear and then uh, go and sleep till next morning. Of course it's gonna cut me HP again but that's fine. That's all part of the character. Because uh, Baleon statues are quite rare. So this is Tower has one. Uh, the Thieves Guild has one in the uh, sewer section. And uh, the Valley of Mines has one. And Jarkandar has about two. Which, you know, not that many. Hey! So what should we do next? You can go- Right, right. I just thought, you know, let me report in about Lester, but I can't. Now let's pray to Belial again, see if I can get another 500 gold. Probably not, but it's something I want to check. It's turning day, though. It's uh, one probably because I already prayed, and two, it's getting daylight, so well, that was a karma moment, but that's fine. All right, so let's do the bandits part. Bag of gold. All right, so let's talk with a
Hey, you! One second, Cameron. Nothing to be Nothing there. there. Trouble? Damn. I don't know where they're all hiding. You kill one, and shortly afterwards, they're all back again. Wait a moment. I know you. You're the fellow who was constantly baking arrows for me in the Valley of Mines. I can barely remember. Oh, come on. Back then, in my hut outside the old camp, I taught you how to shoot a bow and how to sneak around. Ring a bell? Your name is Cavalorn, right? Ah, I see you haven't forgotten me after all we went through in the cursed colony. Where are you heading? Back to the Valley of Mines. Really? Hmm. I wish I could follow you, but I have to finish my duties here first. When you're in the Valley of Mines, could you please look around and see if my old hut is still standing? I'd like to return there one day. Interesting armor you're wearing. Don't you belong to the Shadows anymore? Shadows? They haven't existed since the fall of the barrier. The moment we could finally leave the Valley of Mines, there was no reason for me to stick with them. Now, I work for the Water Mages. I belong to the Ring of Water. What are you doing here? I'm sitting tight. If it hadn't been for these damned bandits, I wouldn't be here. Tell me more about the Ring of Water. I'm not really allowed to talk about it. All I can do is send you to Vatras. He is the representative of the Water Mages in Corinus. The best thing would be to talk to him. Tell him you've come from me. Maybe he'll take you on as one of us. We urgently need more good people. Weren't you and your people enemies of the Water Mages back then? Those crazy old days are over. There isn't any more new camp or old camp. Now that the penal colony no longer exists, everyone is on his own. Most of us former prisoners are still being hunted. The water mages were able to get my sentence commuted, and now I can move about freely. What are the water mages doing now? They're up to something big. It has to do with an unknown region of the island. An unknown region? Where is it supposed to be? I can't tell you more. Talk to Vatras in Corinus. What was that about bandits? Have you slept through the last few weeks? Huh? I'm talking about all the riffraff from the penal colony that are making themselves at home here in the area, plundering and murdering for all they're worth. <sighs> I guess I'm lucky they didn't kill me. I let down my guard for one moment, and they clubbed me from behind. No idea how I'll get all my stuff back now. You were robbed by the bandits? Yes. They beat me down and tossed me to the goblins for lunch. It was damned important stuff. A letter and all my money. I absolutely have to get it back. But without someone to watch my back, I'm not going back there. That cowardly rabble. Can I help you with the bandits? Maybe. But as scrawny as you look, you surely haven't held a proper sword in your hand for weeks. Well... I don't have any choice but to take your offer. My time is running out. So, pay attention. Down this path here, you'll find one of those filthy holes in the ground that bandits like to hide in. The fellows there are the same ones who stole my stuff. Let me know when you're ready, and we'll nab the rabble. I need better equipment. Those swine haven't left me much. I can give you a wolf knife. Will that do for now? You call that a knife? But what about healing? I still have two healing potions here. Interested? Sure, give them here. Let's mix it up with those guys. Sure thing. Just keep my back clear, okay? Now they're in for a nasty surprise. Let's whoop their asses. You're in for it now. Oh! You deserve that, Lola. You poor sucker. You don't even have any gold on you. Wait a minute.
shouldn't have come here. You deserve that, lowlife. So, that's done. Ha! They shouldn't have messed with me. Then I can finally fulfill my mission. I've lost too much time already. What sort of mission? Ah, uh, yeah. First I have to get into the city, and then later. Ah, uh, I don't know how I'm going to get all that done in time. What about me? Hmm, why not? You could take the letter into the city. Then I'll have a bit more time to take care of my equipment. One of the bandits must have the letter in his pocket. Take it to Vatras, the water mage in the city. You'll find him in the temple of Adenos. He preaches there all day. Tell him that I wasn't able to get it done. And if he asks where I am, just tell him I'm already on my way to the meeting point. Okay? Oh yeah, one more thing. First buy some decent clothes from the farmers. Otherwise, you may be taken for a bandit. Here's a couple of coins. Can you teach me something? Sure. You know that. Man, they really took a lot out of you. You can't remember anything at all, can you? I want to learn your abilities. Sure. What do you want to know? With soft souls, you have a better chance of getting close to your opponents without them noticing. Thanks. And do low bot swarm here. Yeah, let's do low bot swarm as well. Dear Vatras, we have advanced to the portal. You were correct. If indeed it appears that they were believers in Adenos, I s ask you to verify this once again with the help of my notes. We have not spotted any of those curious stone beings for days. Nevertheless, the earth continues to quake for no apparent reason. I suspect that our studies will soon bring us more enlightenment. The ornament which we found has a far more important significance than we first thought. It seems to be a crucial key artifact, but alas, it is not complete. We must study it further. Dispatch one of our children from the Ring of Water to bring it back to us. If possible, do not send Cavalorn. I have assigned I have assigned him to deliver this letter to you, and I think that is enough for him to do. Okay, I hope we're doing the right thing. Well, time will tell, time will tell. But, no matter how you look at it, it's really not a good thing to do since we opened the portal but on the other hand it is due to the fact we have to stop uh, what was this bugger name again raven from obtaining power and murky mushrooms Eat a certain amount of these murky mushrooms slash dark mushrooms and you will gain about 5 mana with every 20 you eat I think. I'm not entirely sure but uh, I think it was around 20. Apples it's one strength every 10 apples consumed. But I could be wrong on that one as well.
As a servant of Enos, I took his pass. As a uh, servant of Adenos, I jumped next to the guard into the town, you know, into the next to the gate and just walked in, which gave me about a thousand XP with Hide's Power. It would give about 500 without, I think. Um, with this guy, I'm gonna go in as a herb gatherer. Who do we have here? You're on your way to the city, am I not right? Maybe. Hmm. <coughs> you look like a fugitive. All fugitives are headed for the city. You could even be a former convict for the mining colony. I don't care where you come from, but I believe I have an interesting offer for you. What do you have to offer? The way you look, the guards will never let you into the city. I can help you get into the city. I have here a small piece of paper with the royal seal and the governor's signature, a pass. With this scrap of paper in your pocket, you can run about as raggedly as you please, and the guards will leave you alone. Interested? Mm, nope. Now, keep your paper. Hmm, I seem to have misjudged you, huh? Well, do you want something else? Uh, can I interest you in my wares? Show me your wares. Take your pick. Alright, so let's sell some of my stuff. I've gotta go. Suit yourself. Let's do the quests on Loward's farm and then I'll uh, end the episode. Because the next one is gonna be large, multiple parts. Why are you hanging around on my land? Whose side are you on? The rebelling farmers or the king? I don't understand. What? Don't mess with me, boy. I want to know where you stand. So who are you for? I'm for the peasants. Huh. <laughs> that damned warmonger Onar will drag us all into the grave. What do you think? How long will the paladins just stand by? After what Onar has done, the whole city is in an uproar. What's going on here anyway? Don't you know what's going on? Boy, where are you from? We're on the edge of a civil war. Up till now, all the farmers looked at the tribute to the city as fair taxation. But since the paladins have come to Corinus, the city guards visit us more and more often. And little by little, they're taking everything. If it goes on like this, soon we won't have anything left for ourselves. Some farmers are starting to rebel. Onar was the first of them. Tell me more about this Onar. Onar is the biggest farmer here in the area. He is broken with the city. They say he's hired mercenaries to keep the city guard off his back. Can't blame him. In any case, no royal soldier dares to set foot on his farm anymore. Who are those mercenaries that Unar hired? I don't know much about the guys. Supposedly a lot of them are former prisoners from the mining colony. Everybody knows what you can expect from them. What about you? Whose side are you on? Peasants or king? Now, I'm too close to the city to really have a choice. But I'm glad about that. I wouldn't know how to decide. The king is bleeding us dry, and Onar sets his mercenaries on anyone who won't join him. Well, that's why most of the other farmers are still undecided, but sooner or later they'll have to choose one side or the other. I'm looking for work. I can't use another farm hand, but I could offer some work to a day laborer. Well, what I mean is, you can lend a hand in the field. And there are certainly a few other things to do around here. I could pay you with gold. Or give you a few decent things to wear. The things are worth a fair bit. I can't give them to you for nothing, but 
I can sell them to you cheap if you work for me. By the looks of you, I should say, take the clothes. Anyway, the small turnip field next to the barn needs to be harvested. All right. Then hurry it up a bit before I change my mind. I need some sensible clothes. I can give you clean farmer's work clothes. Can you pay for them then? How much for the work clothes? Well, we'll see. 70 gold pieces. Well, that's still too expensive. Well, suit yourself. quickly get these turnips and uh, deliver them. I'm gonna talk with the shepherd, tell him about how I killed the bandits, which will give me another discount. He will give me wine in return, which I can give one of the one of those wine bottles. I can give to Vino, which will complete that quest. And then all I have to do is bring the turnips to the wife and uh, buy her a frying pan which I already have so it wouldn't take that long I think hey stranger I saw how you came out of the mountains you can be glad you didn't come by here three weeks ago we would have taken you for an escaped convict and we made short work of those you look completely done in what do you want here I was attacked by bandits in the mountains those filthy rabble. They were probably the same bastards who took one of our sheep last night. You had terrific luck. Most people don't get away alive. Those bandits won't trouble you anymore. Why? Are they dead? They picked a fight with the wrong guy. Thank Innos. Here, it isn't much, but I want you to have it. I'll tell the others about this. I'm on my way to town. The way you look, You'll have to bribe the guys to get in. And you have to know what they want to hear. And that would be? Well, for example, that you're from Lobart's farm and want to go to the smith in the city. But that won't do you any good. You don't look like a farmer. I see. I need better equipment. I can imagine. But I tell you right now, we don't have anything to give away. If you can pay for what you want, Lobart will sell you something. Otherwise, Go to him and ask him if he has work for you. Where can I find Lobart? Well, on the farm, of course. The farm belongs to him. And don't try messing with him. He's thrashed a lot of tramps and thrown them off his farm. One less monster around. The boss that took me care. Oh well, with high power, it doesn't matter. Plenty of XP. Here are your turnips. Hey, you're not all that worthless after all. Take them to my wife in the house and tell her to cook them. What about my pay? Well, I can give you five gold pieces. Or sell you the clothes cheaper. Well, what's it to be? Take the gold. It will give you uh, five gold pieces and still you get the ten gold discount. So, in practically speaking, you get, if you pick the gold, a discount of fifteen gold pieces instead of ten. Give me five gold pieces. Here. Don't drink it all at once. Let's quickly talk with Vino, get his quest done, which is uh, a bottle of wine. And how goes the work? Uh, same as always. Lot to do, not enough money, and 
With a bit of bad luck, the orcs will come tomorrow and burn down our farm. The king's paladins have occupied the whole city. But I can hardly believe they'll move their butts out here when the orcs attack us. Can I help you? I'm looking for work. Do you know anything about working in the fields? What is there to know? Ah, in that case, I think we're fine here. Thank you. If you want to work for Lobart as a day laborer, I can only warn you, he pays people like you really miserable. He offered to sell me some clean clothes cheap if I helped out on the farm. Hmm, well, I don't have anything for you to do, but you can bring me and the boys something to drink. Fetch me a bottle of wine, and I'll tell Lobart you were a real help to us. <laughs> Here's your wine. Uh, better not ask where you got it from, huh? Uh, <laughs> uh, who cares? Uh, thanks, anyway. Lobart will only hear the best about you. I'm headed for town. And? Is there anything interesting you can tell me about the city? Nope. But Maleth goes to the city from time to time. Maybe he knows something. I mean, something that would interest you. Now let's quickly deliver the turnips to Greta, whatever her name was. And uh, get her frying pan, which I already have. Or oh, Hilda. Hey, you! Greta is the one in, uh, at Onar's farm. I've got a few turnips here for you. Great. That should be enough to fatten those guys up. Since you're here anyway, I saw a traveling trader pass by here a few minutes ago. I think he stopped on his way to town. Go to him and see whether he's got a decent frying pan for me. Can you give me something to eat? Here, take this. You're a good lad. Give me the gold and I'll go see the merchant for you. Are you saying I can trust you? Just don't spend the money on booze, do you hear? Here's your frying pan. Fine, let's see then whether it's any good. All right, so that were the quests, so let's complete it by uh, buying the work clothes. You can also get it for free, just enter the house, go to the bedroom and open the chest. It has no locks whatsoever. Hey, you! But I merely do this for the XP. How much for the work clothes? Well, we'll see. You've worked the field for me, you helped my wife, Vino says you were real help to him, and that's saying something. He doesn't usually hold with day laborers. Malith said you chased the bandits off. The bastards have caused us a lot of trouble. Thanks to you, we're rid of them. 30 gold pieces. It's not gonna get any cheaper. Give me the work clothes then. There's a chest in my house where you'll find clean things. But don't even think about taking anything else without asking. I'm gonna take it all. Right, so let's quickly give these farmer clothing to Greg, and, uh, and that will be pretty much the end of the episode. So let's quickly talk with Greg and get that done so that we can go into Koreans in the next. Psst! Hey you, come here. What is it? On your way to the city, and really busy too. Listen. You look like a smart guy to me. I bet you'll go far in life. You're certainly nobody's fool. I could see that right away. Say, you'd probably like to earn a few gold coins, wouldn't you? Are you hiding from someone? Of course not. What nonsense. I just enjoy standing among the trees so the wind won't blow right into my face. What about you now? Do you want the job? Cut the crap. Tell me what you want. You see, that's exactly what I mean. Nobody gets anywhere with you just by using pretty words. I knew it. I'm dealing with a tough businessman here. You're a businessman and certainly interested in a small addition to your purse, aren't you? You don't look like someone who has gold. Well, I certainly don't move in the same circles as a gentleman like you. 
But you won't refuse my small contribution to your surely considerable fortune, will you? Well, what do you say? Can I count on you? I've got to be going. So you won't help me? I remember that, pal. We'll meet again. Hey. One more th Listen, kid. I've got important things to do right now. We'll talk again later, got it? Oh dear, I uh, accidentally fucked up the quest. Oh well, then uh, that option is done once as well. Didn't want to do it, but that's fine. That uh, will mean that I'm gonna enter the city. <laughs> give this farmer's clothing to Greg but uh, since I pretty much cancelled the quest um, I can keep the armor now uh, since I normally always give the armor to Greg since it's part of the expansion and since I fucked it up right now with this particular playthrough instead of becoming and uh, going into the city as a herbalist I'm gonna go into the city as a smith, as a farmer. Um, so that option is done so that the herbalist one can be used with a hardcore run. But uh, it was unintentionally, but these things happen. I'm not gonna reload just because of that. But uh, anyways guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you like what you see, feel free to subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the uh, like button if you want to see uh, the Belial run of Gothic 3 as well as uh, eventually Gothic 3 Forsaken Gods, Gothic 4 and of course the hardcore run of the entire series so if you want that like this video up and uh, I hope to see you guys in the second episode which is gonna most likely be split it in a couple of parts not quite sure how many yet but uh, Greenness is quite large when it comes to questing. But yeah, that's for the next episode. So uh, see you guys next time.